Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. I want to have a little look at who Eddie Hearn's done something with from debut. Every now and then I like to talk about this. Joshua took him to a world title from debut. Cal Yafai, Charlie Edwards, that's free isn't it? But they're all Team GB aren't they? Callum Smith, I don't count him because Calla Sowlan got his, so there's three there. Three people. So is there any more? Is there any more? Will Luke Campbell be a fourth? I don't know, but he's got a Commonwealth in his uh, in his house at home. But that's the same as Tommy Coyle, isn't it? But Luke Campbell were Olympic gold medal. So I don't count Katie Taylor either because there's there's hardly any women in women's boxing, isn't there? So you can't really count that one, can you? Uh and she's not from, from England, is she? How many English kids have you took to world titles? Is this free? Free from debut? Is that it? So what is he doing for kids that are not from Team GB, the Team GB conveyor belt from EIS? What about kids that are turning pro like from round here, like Dylan White? Oh, he didn't have Dylan from debut, did he? Did he have Bellew from debut? No. What about Cleverly? No. What about Ricky Burns? No. What about Froch, Darren Barker? No. Uh, what about Kel Brook? No. It, it just goes on and on, doesn't it? What has he done with anybody who's not Olympians? Or World Championship Team GB? What has he done with any of them? None. It's handed to him on a plate like Sky and like the Dazone thing. And basically, he's just a kid in a sweet shop, isn't he? And I keep banging on about it but everybody says I'm bitter and jealous and a hater I'm only saying what managers and trainers say and these same managers and trainers I see them working with him and I know what they really think but they're not going to say a word are they because all roads lead to Eddie so whatever it's like that I'm going to have an opinion because I'm opinionated why should he get the, the run of the EIS up at Sheffield and nobody else why why, why is that why should all them matchroom lot up there be training up there? It's for amateurs. Why has Joshua been there ten years? He's been he's been a pro. What is it? Eight year now training up there as a pro. Boatsy and Akoli. He's had them from debut, hasn't he? Were they born in Britain? I think they might have been. I'm not sure. He's he's Boatsy Nigerian, so we can't count him. I don't know about Akoli. I don't know. I don't know where he's from, but I think he might be born in England. He ain't got a world title yet, and he's 2016 Rio squad, aren't they, Olympics? So you can't really count them if they're from Olympics, so... He's not had a world champion from debut who's not from up here, from McCracken's lot, has he? So let's put the McCracken lot to the side. What did his dad do in all his distinguished career? With an English guy to a world title from debut. The amount of people Barry Hearn got a world title was zero. Yeah, Herbie Hyde, but he's Nigerian, so we can't count him, can we? So what are these people doing for their own? What are they doing for their own? You mind other people? What are they doing for people from this country who are not from up here? They're not doing anything for your man in the street boxes, are they? They're not, are they? That's how I look at it. So peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. Don't have nightmares, Eddie.